I've been using Pop OS for about a month now. That's Pop OS 20.04. And I think it's one of the best OSs for beginners in the world of Linux. A lot of things are pre configured. Heck, setting up Steam and gaming just worked out of the box. Even Lutris and stuff like that was super easy to get set up and just running. You'll notice that I've configured my operating system a little bit. I, I customized it, added some good GNOME tweaks, and I like how I got it looking. But with all of these pros, there are certainly some cons. As I was using Pop OS, I was really happy with all the packages that were available to me. I liked that flat packs were available in the Pop Shop, but and I don't know if this is just me, but the pop shop has been a bit of an issue for me. So first of all, it looks really nice. I, uh, now it's a little more broken than it used to be. I don't know if that has to do with the fact that I was changing uh, themes, but even before then, uh, but even before then, there's things like this where I'd scroll down and scroll up, and now a part of the image is like not loaded. So, you know, that, that's, that's minor, that, that's fine. A bigger issue is that I wasn't able to update much in the, in pop, in the pop shop directly. I had to, to run a command, which is not really a big issue for me, but I saw it as a bit of an inconvenience. As well as, um, I, and I don't know if it's just flat packs. I think only flat packs weren't being, I couldn't update. That said, I was also not able to, I wasn't able to install well, I was able to install some Debian packages or some, uh, not Debian packages, but some apt packages from, from the shop here. And like each one of them had an issue when I installed steam as a, all right, it's as a deb. When I installed steam, it, I was unable to run wine or steam proton. I wasn't able to run steam proton when I installed a uh, atom the text editor, it popped up as like a window that was zero by zero and I could do nothing more than just close it. It was really weird and a whole bunch of things like that. So, so I installed a lot of flat packs with the shop. Otherwise I just added my own, like the Debian repositories and installed things manually. There's another issue I forgot to mention where if uh, sometimes when I, when I open the pop shop or certain other specific applications, they would actually appear outside the screen. Uh, this could be because I have three monitors of three different resolutions, but I would open, usually I open the pop shop here and I did it earlier and it popped in, uh, in the center of the screen just fine. But sometimes it appears on my leftmost screens out of bounds and I have to, I have to hit the, the, the key, the activities key to uh to see it and then i drag it into the window i want and then when i click on it again it appears on the top left kind of like pinned to the corner and then i can grab it and it's at a minimum size like it can't get squished anymore so i have to expand it back up it's like sometimes that happens where it's just it just feels like the size of the window and the position of the window are just all set to zero for no reason i thought i'd mention that it doesn't happen with all applications just a few select few but but a bigger issue i have which is currently not happening now, which which I'm happy for, but it's that the CPU would just be bumped up to 100% every 20 seconds or something. So the operating system would run fine, and then everything would stop, everything would like lag out, and then everything would resume. And when I looked into the task manager, I wasn't really able to uh, to see what was doing it. Same with HTOP or whatever, I couldn't really see which program was was doing it. I don't know if there's a way to like look at a log or something, but you definitely saw that one of the cores, one of my cores went up to 100% every so often. And what's interesting is uh, I did some, some screen sharing with uh, Discord and other people did not see my operating system stop. And if like I would be moving my mouse and then the mouse would stop moving, but that was only for me, I could still move the mouse around and it would end up where it should have. So if, if the entire system stopped and then I moved the mouse and then I stopped, it would appear as if I moved it. So I found that to be very interesting. So that's my actually 
short review of Pop! OS. I mean, if I were to show you around, it'd just be me showing you GNOME and how I have a, a Pomodoro uh, extension and how I've customized uh, things. Because uh, other, other than those negatives, uh, it, uh, it runs super well. I'm super happy with it. Uh, and the only issues I have is is really that CPU going to 100%. That's, that's, that's what breaks it for me. So I don't know why that happens to me. I don't know if it happened. Well, I looked online. It seems other people are having these issues. They say that has to do with um, with some uh, duplications in the in in the sources dot list over here. Uh, but when I open it, uh, I I tried removing everything just to see if if that would fix it. I don't I don't know if there's anywhere else. So yeah, I don't really know what's um what's up with that specifically. But I do think uh, System76 should uh, change if it's a duplication problem with, with the sources list. I think they should change that so that out of the box everything runs perfectly. It could also be because of the fact that I'm running NVIDIA. I don't know. I don't know. All in all, I would give this operating system a what, 8 out of 10. It works really well. I definitely suggest it over Ubuntu. So I hope that helped any of you who are wondering if you should try it out. I, I definitely suggest to try it out. But if ever you see that issue, uh, well, at least you'd be warned about it, I guess. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching my Minute of Linux. Minutes of Linux.